What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. After has become one of the most popular romantic dramas of recent years. Fans have been losing their minds over bad boy Harding Scott, and for good reason. Now, we're going to be taking you behind the scenes and we will be talking about some of the crazy bloopers that happen off camera. You're going to discover some of the secrets that the creators don't want to show you. At least, not explicitly. And did you know that only true fans saw these after bloopers and funny moments? So, let's dive right into it, shall we? Number 6. Josephine and Hero are still sweethearts behind the scenes. Josephine Langford and Hero Fiennes Tiffin are such good actors that half the time, we don't even know if they're acting or not. We just think that these two are seriously in love with one another, like these bloopers for example. The first one is when Tessa is lying next to Harden on the grass. He's looking at the sky and partially looking at her. We can see she's probably doing most of the talking here, and Harden is just listening. I mean, these two are just adorable. Even for the bloopers, they're still being professionals and don't drop the act, which is partly the reason why we've had so many fans coming up with crazy theories as to how these two are dating in real life. Don't get us wrong, we would have liked to see that too. Sadly, we didn't see it happen. The next scene was in the aquarium when Harden said, I still can't believe it. When Tessa asked him what it is that he can't believe, he just said, that you're mine. Now please be kind and tell us that didn't make you want to kiss him right there, right then. Promise to act like this every day? No. I'll try. Number 5. Zed tries to hit up on Tessa. This next scene is a deleted scene that in our opinion should have made it into the movie. And if we're being honest, this scene would have made the movie much better. Plus, it would have been true to the actual books. In this scene, we have Zed catching up with Tessa after English class. He starts complaining how he can't understand anything in that class. He doesn't know if the teacher is actually speaking English, which is a pretty bad sign. Now, we knew that this was just a little sob story to make Tessa feel for him and actually tutor him, where Zed could make his move and actually win her over. And yes, Tessa does offer to help him after he starts talking about how he's going to drop the class before it's too late. As soon as he heard that, he immediately replied, That's exactly what I need. You need to mind your own business, pal, and leave Tessa and Harding to deal with their problems. They have enough of them as is. We don't need you piling on. Yeah, I gotta drop that class before the deadline. Maybe you just need a study partner? That's exactly what I need. Number 4. The Actual Tutoring Session Still don't believe us that Zed was after one thing, and one thing only? Then watch this next deleted scene. In this scene, we're at the actual tutoring session, and you would think that Zed would have chose a library, or some other quiet place where they could focus on the lesson. But did he do it? Heck no! He just brought Tessa to smash that like button just like you should do if you haven't already. But no, he actually brought her to a diner. I don't know if anyone's told Zed this, but that's not where you go when you want to study. That's where you go on a date. And yes, in his sad little world, he actually thought that they were on a date. Just look at how he's trying to get closer and closer to her. And then Steph actually tells him to stop. Why? Because the man is practically drooling on her. At that moment, Hardin walks into the diner and comes over to their table. Zed knows that he's going to ruin his plan, so he becomes really defensive and a prick, basically. Finally, when Zed tells Harding that he doesn't own Tessa, he was pretty much ready to punch Zed in the face. Luckily, Tessa broke up the tension when she said to Harding that she doesn't want to go somewhere private in order to talk. That crushed our soul, just like it did Harding's. Still, can someone explain to us why these two scenes weren't in the movie? Was it because they didn't want to add more complexity to the movie or what? Number 3. The favor we didn't expect. Here's another deleted scene that would have added a lot of depth to the movie. When Tessa walked in the dean's office, she started talking to the assistant at the front desk. Tessa tells the lady that she wants to talk to Dean Wallace regarding her scholarship. While this conversation is going on, there's another guy that has turned his back and seems to be working on the computer. 
we don't really pay much attention to him because we want to know more about the problem. As soon as Tessa mentioned her name, he turned towards the camera and told us that he's actually Ken Scott, Harden's real dad. As they begin talking, we realize that these two have never met. Ken begins telling Tessa how he's heard so much about her from his son Landon. Now, we thought the scene would end there, with these two going into his office and talking about the scholarship problem. But just as the scene was about to end, Ken leans in and tells Tessa, I have a favor to ask of you. It has to do with Hardin. What was the favor? What did he want to ask Tessa? Why isn't anyone talking about this scene and how crucial it would have been to the entire movie? I have a favor to ask of you. A favor? Yes. It has to do with Hardin. Number two. Anna Todd's cameo that you probably missed. If you watch any of the interviews with Josephine and Hero, you will realize in many of them, Anna Todd, the author of the After book series, is actually present. That's because she has formed a really close bond with the stars, and they love her as much as she loves them. They even said that she's always on the set. She's everywhere, but not in a negative way. She's always there to offer support and help, not standing over their head. That's why the cast and crew decided to give her a little cameo appearance in the movie. In the very last scene, after Tessa breaks with Hardin, she goes in to hand her application for a job at Vance Publishing. She was the girl holding Tessa's door as she entered the building. But did you know that this seemingly easy scene took several shots? That was because they couldn't figure out how Anna could hold the door for Josephine while still looking at her. Number 1. That's how you get ready for a wedding. This was the absolute best deleted scene that should have made it into the movie. Why? Because here we saw Tessa and Hardin getting ready for the wedding. Hardin was complaining about how he doesn't want to go to the party, but Tessa was persistent. As soon as she walked out of the dressing room looking fine as hell, Hardin's breath stopped. It's here that we realized how much Hardin loves her, how much he's ready to sacrifice for her. He was actually prepared to do something that he would never do in a million years. Now, why in the world would anyone discard this scene? The first thing that we have to consider when looking at deleted scenes is the director's reasoning. When shooting a movie, every director worth his salt would like to make as many scenes as humanly possible, and then just select the ones that are absolutely necessary to the movie. So, when you have to choose from hundreds of scenes, some of them just don't make the cut. Even if the scene is really good, the director will usually omit it out of fear of the movie being redundant. You don't want to have Hardin fall in love with Tessa 12 times in the movie. You only need to do it once and move on to the next part. On a related note, do you think Hardin is a bad influence on Tessa? Or do you think he keeps her safe and secure? You can tell us in the comments below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.